What's up you guys? Welcome back to beautiful Italy. I'm standing out on the balcony of our apartment here just outside of Milan. This thing's awesome. We have this massive balcony. We've been able to just sit out here and watch thunderstorm after thunderstorm roll through and just dump rain on this area. Generally, Shell and I love rainstorms. We love the rain, the thunder, the lightning. It's always fun to watch, especially when you're dry on your covered balcony. But when you are riding a motorcycle, you kind of do want some clear weather, clear skies, because the rain, as you saw in our last video, as we rode around Lake Como, can be a little inconvenient. Another cool thing about this apartment we are staying in is they have a washer and a dryer. Nowhere has had a dryer since we we left the USA over four months ago. No one has had a dryer. And so this thing, guys, even though I had that waterproof layer on, that jacket in the last video, this was fairly saturated. It got pretty soaked, but we just threw it in the dryer and today it's ready to rock and roll. And I think we're gonna need the layers today. It looks a little bit cooler out, but no rain in the forecast. Oh, I got puppies down there. <laughs> We are gonna get suited up, guys. We're gonna go on another ride today. We have the Harley for another day, and I wanna take full advantage of that thing. Absolutely love riding that bike. And we're gonna attempt to ride to another country today. We are in Northern Italy, and so there are a few surrounding countries up here to the north that we're gonna try and enter on the Harley, because how rad would that be? We're gonna get gear up, hop on the bike. Another rad thing about this place, we got our own little private garage down in the basement where the Harley sits, nice and safe and dry. It's so cool, guys. Such a cool place, Shell found. We're gonna go pack up and hit the road. Okay, we are approaching, we are approaching the border of Switzerland. Switzerland! We brought the hog, Mr. Harley, to the border. Oh, let's turn down the music. We got our music cranking today. We got my phone connected. Here's the border. We made it. riverfront parking area here with all the scooters. Yeah, I was gonna say, one of these does not belong. <laughs> but I think we look a lot more like that guy. So, you might have got your pants around your ankles. <laughs> Listen, these pants are heaven sent. They're keeping me so much warmer. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had any rain today, but it is a little cold. It's cold. We have just arrived to the beautiful Swiss town of Lugano. We have Lago di Lugano, Lake Lugano, out that away. Guys, these views and these surroundings are something else. You this mean is this gorgeous. view right here? Oh yeah, Shelly. That's the one I always mean. Oh, shut up. We got 
sun shining right now. This is amazing. It's the Swiss sun. That's what they call it. You know, it? I'm kind of wanting to just stay in Switzerland now that we're here. <laughs> Me too. The Swiss sun, like Shell said. Stay so in the famous. Swiss sun. I want to get some Swiss chocolate. Guys, we're just doing a little loop here today. We went up past Como, sweeping around through Switzerland. We're going to end up going down Lake Maggiore, back on the Italy side, all the way back down to the Harley dealer. It's going to be a nice little loop. This is awesome. This town. We're just walking the waterfront here. And it's a beautiful big fan of this place. You are. We've been here for five seconds. The border crossing was just as eventful as I was hoping it would be. Basically, nothing happened. Zero events. <laughs> I know. I got my passports in my pocket. I was ready to go, and they're we just were like, ready. which I guess I expected. It's like open borders between Switzerland and Italy. But still, kind of cool to ride a Harley Davidson cross country borders. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love the line of scooters and then the Harley. Freaking cool. Our time in Switzerland has been incredible. I think we may have to come back back sometime. What do you think, Shell? Yeah, I definitely think we need to come back. We're going to keep on moving. We're going to go over the mountains, back into Italy, to Lake Maggiore, and ride down the coastline of that lake. It's going to be gorgeous. We got the sun kind of popping out every now and then, giving us some warmth, but we're still gearing up because we don't know how cold it's going to be going across these mountains. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> I'm loving these helmets. I know, I am too. I'm actually a big fan. Split it a little bit. Were you a little bit nervous? Well, yeah, this is a big bike. <laughs> we don't really lane split back in Utah. You can split lanes up to a stoplight, but not like in normal moving traffic. Well, we're, we're going. Moving. We got some serious Swiss traffic up in here. That's okay. We got the tubes going up at the front. We're listening to a little 1975. The weather is. that it is such a beautiful day today. The sun has come out. We're actually getting a little warm. Daniel's like, can you vent me out? And I'm like unzipping all the vents in his jacket trying to get a cool breeze. I'm still like bundled up, but I'm hot. I've got my hood on under my helmet. Not easy looking this good, okay? Oh, pretty light. Listen, the beautiful Swiss lakes are everywhere here. We passed like 17 already. It might have all been the same one, but from a bunch of different angles. But I don't think it is actually, now that I think about that. I don't know. All I know is it is beautiful. This is quite the drive. <laughs> no one's dancing but me. She said give her two minutes. She's gonna clean the table for us. Water fun. <laughs> uh, we're 
We're taking a quick pit stop here, grabbing a little dinner, or lunch if you will. We've got the Greek salad, absolutely humongous and delicious looking. I'll give you one guess what's coming out next. We stopped in the town of Loveno on Lake Maggiore, right behind us here. Very picturesque, very beautiful. And guess what else we got? Shell, show them. These blankets are IKEA specials, and we gave out these exact blankets to the guests at our wedding. This is just Italy is just celebrating our anniversary with us the whole oh, time no. we've been here. Do you think we're gonna keep them? That'd be cool. Our guests got to keep them if they wanted to. They were wrapped up with a cute little note because we had an outdoor wedding, and it was a little bit chilly in the evening because it was the end of September. So thank you, Cafe Disco, providing a little comfort here for us. Plus right near our anniversary. Like how uncanny. Uncanny. <laughs> yeah, pigeons on the table. Oh. third lake that we've seen now up here in northern Italy. We've seen Como, this is Maggiore, and we saw Laga di Lugano up there in Switzerland. They're all stunning. I don't know that I would even have a favorite. They've all been so picturesque and mellow and just awesome. This one is kind of cool though. You guys remember just a few days ago we were in the city of Milan and we were at the Duomo, the massive cathedral there downtown Milan, and all of that marble, all of that stone came from a quarry or a mine not very far from here. They put it on huge platforms, floated it out on to this lake and then down rivers and down canals all the way to Milan to build that massive structure. It's pretty remarkable what they were able to do and it all came from way up here. We're not that far from Milan but we're kind of far. And they <laughs> floated that stuff for a while to build that beautiful building and I'd say it was worth it. This may be our last leg here on the epic motorcycle ride. I know. I'm actually really sad I don't want to say goodbye. It's been so fun to ride a bike again and by ride I mean I just sit very leisurely in my lazy boy <laughs> passenger seat. You know what? I don't know that I could do it without you back there. Just smiling. <laughs> no, she's running the cameras. She's running the playlist. I was running the playlist. I couldn't really hear it, but I hope you could. Oh, well, I should turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we could do a few more days here, especially with this beautiful weather. Oh. I could use the bike for another week or so at least. This has been so fun riding these roads up here, but. No but. But. <laughs> We're heading back to the dealership now, taking the motorcycle back, because we're going somewhere where they do not allow motorcycles tomorrow. <laughs> I don't think, anyways. I've never been there. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't want to say bye to the bike. She doesn't want to say bye to the bike. Guys, we're saying bye to the bike. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great. Thank you, Harley Davidson, so much for partnering with us, letting us use this bike during our time here in Northern Italy. It's, it's been a highlight. I would say this has been one of the highlights since we've left the US. We've had a lot of highlights. We've had some highlights that are bigger some highlights, low better darks. highlights, and some low darks. <laughs> a lot highlights of low and darks. low darks. The Harley has been a highlight. The, hi the Harley has been been a highest of highlights. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so much fun guys. Honestly just the freedom of having a motorcycle. Not just a motorcycle but a very comfortable one. Tons of storage. Able to get around. Obviously we haven't had transportation most of the time and when we have it's been like a scooter or a quad. Sometimes a car. It's just been great to have this freedom it's here in so this fun. area. It just felt so good. It was such a blast. It's been nice to have a little bit of America with us too as we've been away Way for a long time. A little bit of America right here. It hasn't been that long, but it feels like it's been long. <laughs> it does feel like it's been a long time. Well, guys, we're gonna go give back Shelly's rain gear, the rad coats, the gloves, the helmets that they let My us use. Rain gear. I know, guys, we rolled up. There's a lot of hardcore bikers out There's front of this dealer of right now. It reminds me of the day I picked up my first Harley. <gasps> I go to the dealership to pick it up and there's like a pancake breakfast, hundreds of hardcore riders and I'm just a young buck, never ridden the bike yet. It just got shipped up from California when I had picked it up and I had to ride off the lot in front of all of them. This kind of felt like that. Tons of guys yeah. out front. We roll through. Shelly's in full rain gear. I'm in gear. full rain gear. Look at I've the got sky the right hood now. up. Yeah, you guys, like the 
weather just like that switched on us, which is great <laughs> because that means we had such an awesome day today. But it's like, why couldn't it have been like this last two days? But anyway, <laughs> I've got full rain gear on, the hood up, my helmet over the hood, it's my dorky little sun visor. You have the sun visor down? <laughs> I have the sun visor down. Don't we got to go say hi. I don't think they'll recognize you now. <laughs> no, they were all laughing at me. <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, bye bye, Harley. We bye love bye. you. <laughs> Well guys, it's back to walking, which is not a bad thing. Feels no, it's great. really not. I'm actually kind of okay. I told Daniel, I was like, I know this sucks right now, but I'm happy because we're getting steps in. <laughs> <laughs> we're walking back to our Airbnb. It has been an incredible couple of days here in the northern part of Italy, cruising on a Harley Davidson. Unforgettable, but you guys, we are so excited because we are going to a new place tomorrow. Still within the country of Italy, but a place we have never been to and always wanted to go. And it may or may not be our last place here in Italy. We hope you guys have enjoyed cruising Como and all this area with us. We sure have enjoyed it. Love the Harley. Missing it real bad right about now. I'm sure that won't be the last time we see one. I'm hoping. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already and we'll hope to see you all in our next video. See you guys.